The first step is to unlock the pole. This is a steel crank flagpole. Raising or lowering the flag on it is done by turning this crank assembly using a special handle. The handle is inserted into the crank like this. Once the handle is in the crank assembly, it's important not to let go of it or leave it unattended because there is a strong possibility that the flag could drop on its own, causing injury or damage to the flag, pole, and winch. To lower your flag, simply turn the crank counterclockwise. The nature of the steel crank is that it will be jerky while you are turning it. Rotating a big flag is at least a two-person job. While one person is cranking, the other will catch the flag. While cranking, ease the flag low enough for your person to catch it. The goal is not to let the flag touch the ground. Because your flag is so big, this can be dangerous. To keep the flag from acting like a big parachute or sail and sweeping you away, it needs to be furled or twisted as quickly as possible. This is done by quickly and forcefully twisting it as soon as you catch it. This will be tricky if there is any wind, so be sure to communicate clearly with the person catching the flag. Twist the flag fast and hard to quickly cut down on how much the wind is affecting the flag. Be sure not to let go of the handle in the crank, because this is the time when the flag could easily come down on its own. If you need to assist the person catching the flag, remove the handle and set it securely on the ground. To further reduce the amount of wind catching the flag, wrap it tightly around the pole as you are furling it. Once you have control of the flag like this, you can quickly start stuffing it into your flag container. When it's in the bag, start twisting it by hand to gain even more control over the flag. As you stuff it, twisting as you go, Make sure your communication is good with the person turning the crank. That way you can both work together to gradually lower the flag into the container. The flag has been lowered enough that we can see its counterweight. This is the part that can seriously hurt you if the flag comes down on its own. Here are the links on the cable that the flag is hooked to. You need to make sure all of these links are tight and secure. If any of them are loose, you will need to tighten them. We'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. Continue lowering the flag into the container. Again, as you come to each one of the hooks, check to see if each of the links is tight. Also, keep some tension on the cable so that when you are unwinding it, it doesn't go out of control. Tension keeps the cable wound correctly for both raising and lowering the flag. Now that the flag is off the pole, let's look at these hooks. We're looking for wear and tear. These hooks look good. If the hooks are worn, they could break or come loose and even fly off. This may allow the flag to get out of your control and fly away from the pole. Let's tighten those loose links. To do this, we need a flathead screwdriver and a crescent wrench. Just stick the screwdriver into the link and use it as leverage when you tighten the link with a wrench. This makes it very tight. If you can't loosen it by hand, then it's tight enough. You also need to inspect the cable to see if it's fraying anywhere. Frayed cable can damage and rip the flag. If the cable is fraying a little, it can be smoothed down using duct tape. If the fraying is bad, then the cable will need to be replaced. Here are some important safety concerns to keep in mind. Take a look at the pole. Does everything look okay? Flags of this size should be changed at least every 30 days because of wear and tear. Bigger flags are more easily ripped by the wind. If it is a windy day, remember that a flag being raised or lowered while blowing over a building, next to power lines, or toward a busy street could easily cause an accident. It's better to wait on working with your flag until there are calmer conditions. Also, besides wind problems, flag poles attract lightning, so don't attempt to raise or lower your flag in thunderstorm conditions. Remember to keep the fittings tight and make sure they are not worn down. Spectators should be kept at least 20 to 30 feet away from where you are working with your flag. Remember safety first. 
Protect yourself with a hard hat. Gloves are recommended to avoid rope burns and to help get a grip on the rope. Also, be careful and pay attention to what you are doing. 